First to attend the trial for the man charged in a Lackawanna County restaurant owner's murder has begun. Good evening, I'm Aaron Levy. And I'm Ann Larie. Jury selection got underway today in the trial of Justin Schuback, the man charged with killing Robert Barron Sr. Fox 56's Taylor Wartenby recaps the well-known case that's gripped the community of Old Forge for years. The doors of Gigerelli's restaurant in the 500 block of South Main Street in Old Forge remain closed. A constant reminder of beloved restaurant owner Robert Barron Sr., who went missing in January of 2017 after his wife reported that he didn't show up for work at their family business. On January 26th of that year, police officers responded to Gigerelli's. During the walkthrough, the officer discovered what was believed to be blood. For several years, mystery surrounded what had happened to him, and Barron's family went through life with no closure on where he was. That was until March of 2023, when authorities recovered skeletal remains in Pagnotti Park, which turned out to be his. When questioning Robert Barron Jr., investigators asked if he knew anyone that would want to hurt his father, and he replied, Justin Schuback. 38-year-old Justin Schuback of Old Forge is now facing charges of burglary and theft, as well as first, second, and third-degree murder. Schuback and Barron Jr. met each other before his father's disappearance. Court papers say Barron Jr. gave him money for drugs and was ripped off. DNA experts confirm Barron Sr.'s blood was found throughout the restaurant. The experts also confirmed that Schuback's DNA was found inside of the car Barron Sr. was driving. Inside the Lackawanna County Courthouse, the jury selection has begun for the trial. This is the start of the process. The community of Old Forge and beyond are hoping with the trial beginning, they can close a long chapter. I'm really looking forward to justice being served. I think it's just about time. I mean, we, I've heard like even before like he was like arrested, we all kind of knew. So I'm so glad that it's finally happening. and. At least a little bit of peace and justice is finally going to happen to the family. Olivia O'Boyle works at the flower shop next to Gigerelli's restaurant. It's a little sad. I mean, coming in every morning, I look at it and I remember how good the pizza was. And everyone always tells me how nice he was. And it's just so, I feel so sad about it. Schubach has been behind bars since March and if found guilty, would spend the rest of his life in prison. In Lackawanna County, I'm Taylor Whartonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10. Twelve jurors and four alternate jurors were chosen today before opening statements in the trial got underway. Testimony resumes tomorrow.